Out with a computer server case trying to make a portable complete station. And we have a, a, a Lenco DX70 HF rig 62160 and a Yazoo 7800 for VHF UHF. An MFJ a tuner and a jet stream switching power supply. Uh, we're going on 120 RDC. It's running on a 12 volt jump start at the moment with a Tar Heel, uh, little Tar Heel 2 antenna, screwdriver antenna. An FM magnet mounted, said he can't drive it like that. That is correct. It's just, it's supportable only. <laughs> and uh, we fired it up and made the first contact to uh, South Carolina. And they did, they give you a 5.5. Five. Uh, you got uh, so what all can you cover with just that little set right there? Uh, the set will go six meters through 160, and the little tire heel antenna will go 10 meters through 80. I uh, I will try it on lady 80 later on at home. It it comes up with good SWR on 80, but it's extremely noisy on 80. Okay. So I'll try it later on. It takes a long to run it up. I'll I'll run it up a few minutes to see what happens on 80. Alrighty. Get around the side here, see if I can see this case. See, I'm holding switch down inside of the uh, case, and the Tar Heel antenna is moving up now. I don't know if you can see it through the lens. You're I can't right, see it. It's slow moving up. So basically, you're manually. The, the yellow band is 40 meters. We may stop and see if there's anyone on 40. Show you his little homemade power pole. It comes to an airplane, Earl. I work with 3H. Yeah. I work with it. Oh, do you see? To the EAA. Hi, Earl. All righty. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm K5ROC showing us this stuff there.